Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a quick uh, unboxing here for you. This is something a little different. It's not a steel book or anything. It's actually a TV series uh, from HBO called True Detective. Um, it's been a couple years since it was on. This is the third season, starring Mahershala Ali. I did watch this um, this last. Uh, I think it was March or something like that. Um, this last spring, winter spring, and it was. Pretty good, actually. I thought it was uh, very, very well done. I like um, Hirsch Lolly. I think he's been a great actor ever since I saw him on, um, what the hell's that dumb show? House of Cards on Netflix. He was a character actor on that show, a sporting actor, and uh, it was the first thing I ever saw him in, and he's been doing a lot of good shit since, but uh, he was very good in this, I thought, as the main character of Wayne Hayes, the detective going through like three decades of um, his memories and stuff, remembering what happened on a certain case, and uh, I thought it was very well done. Um, I don't, I really do, I wish it was in the same style as these first two seasons of season one, or when it was just called True Detective without a season note notation, because they didn't know if they were going to continue it, but it did very well this first season, back in 2014, I think. I watched this, uh, I think I watched it live back then, actually, and it was very surprising. I was back to the very beginning of Matthew McConaughey's reconnaissance or whatever, Renaissance, um, of being in, in like dramatic works and stuff, and he did very good. Woody Harrelson was great. The whole season was very cool, very nihilistic and interesting. Um, and then I think a year later, then 2015, they did season two, which was not as good. Although to be fair, I didn't finish this season. I only watched the first three or four episodes, I think. And then I actually do not remember if I just quit or something happened and I forgot to watch. I don't know what happened, but I never finished this, and I'm gonna have to do that now. Um, I did obviously buy the Blu-ray, though, because, um, as you can see, it's in my possession. But I really do wish they kept the, the box setting just because to keep it uniformity. I knew they weren't going to, but I was hoping they would. Because um, Season 2 is just a regular slipcover edition. So, uh, I said Season 2, Season 3. Um, so, yeah, how about I unbox the damn thing? So it's just slipcover, just a regular, slip slipcover like usual in regular releases. And it says... Um, this is the Blu-ray and digital edition, which is typical. They always have a... I don't think they do um, with DVDs anymore. Um, uh, it says, Time takes everything but the truth. And they always have like a tagline. The second season had... Um, we get the world we deserve. And it was actually about like a crime boss and like a bunch of different cops from different areas finding some sadistic ring of... I actually don't even remember what the fuck was. Colin Farrell was very weird in it. And Vince Vaughn was like a gangster, and it was kind of weird. Rachel Ed McAdams, if I recall, was a damaged detective or something like that. And Taylor Kitsch was some like motorcycle cop. I don't know what she was. Or he was, or whatever. And these are just two cops in Louisiana. But um, um, this uh, tagline says, Touch darkness, and darkness touches you back. Which I thought was very cool. Um, like I was saying, though, I recommend this season for sure, if you haven't seen the show... And, um, uh, like I said, I haven't finished this, so I have no idea how it ended. I've heard it ended better than it started, but, um, I don't, I don't know, so I can't say. The first half of it I was not terribly impressed with. It was all right, but it was very much in the same vein of, like, uh, I'm trying to think. Like, a sequel not li living up to its, its predecessor, so that's, season one was fantastic, like a 10 out of 10, and season, what I saw of season two was, like, a... A C at best, C, a C minus or so, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, I didn't finish it, so I shouldn't give it a grade. But um, it was um, not as good. Season 3, however, was very good, I thought. Uh, on, on par, I'd say, with Season 1. Um, not quite as, like, nihilistic and dark, but uh, still very dark and very good. Um, anyway, the exact same info on the front and back here, right? I think, yeah, so... I'll zoom in on this, and you can take a look at that for the description. Um, Herschel Ali plays three different eras of himself, the character of uh, Wayne Hayes, I think, yeah. And there's some bonus features down there. T-Bone Burnett and Nick Pizzolatto. He's the sh he, he wrote all the episodes, I think, in all three seasons. And um, T-Bone Burnett, I think, is the uh, composer for all three seasons. And the, the music is actually very good in all three, that I recall. Even season two, I think, where the music was pretty good. But season one, for sure, and then season three, uh, definitely. And then some deleted scenes and stuff. Final ex finale extended cut. I'm gonna check and check that out. Stephen Dorff is in this, and he was actually very, very good. I would. I, I haven't seen Stephen Dorff in um, Stephen Dorff in very much since um, 
Blade, I guess, if I'm being honest. But I thought he was very good in this. And uh, Carmen Iyogo was very good as uh, his wife. She was a, 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 an author as well. Scoop Neri, I believe he's the father of the missing children. And there are other character actors who were very well in it too. But And then uh, created by Nick Pizzolatto, who I think is also an author. And uh, you can tell he's got very nuanced writing and stuff. It's actually kind of dented right there. I didn't notice that before, but whatever. Anyway, let's open this up. I'm just blabbering on about the seasons you probably have already seen or don't care about, so. Get yeah. that here. I don't think it's broken or anything. Let me get the coat out of here. Here's the first disc, which is, they're all like gold. Oh, the first one's gold. Uh, disc one, which has episodes one through three. Oh, you can see there. Disc two, which is episodes four through six, and uh, disc three, which is episodes uh, seven and eight, I think, here. Right? Yeah. Very cool. Plus, the bonus features on all three uh, discs. There's some, like, background art here, too. See, that's just the episode names. I guess I could pull it out and show you. The Great War and Modern Memory, Kiss Tomorrow Goodbye, The Big Never, with some bonus features, Design the Decade, a conversation with Nick Pizzolatto and T-Bone Burnett, and Lee Scene. Uh, disc 2 is The Hour and the Day, if you have Ghosts and Hunters in the Dark, plus the lead scenes. And then uh, The Final Country and Now I Am Found, plus the extended cut and then some more deleted scenes, and that's Picture of Mahershala. Looking at some things. Like I said, I really did enjoy this season. Um, I do have to give season two a fair shake, I guess, because it's been, like I said, I never finished it, but it was definitely, I think the consensus is that it wasn't very good, although, I, like I said, I have heard that it got better. But at that point, I think a lot of people, like me, had bailed, which is too bad if it was actually good, but anyway. So yeah, that's it. Like I said, I really do wish um, the cases lined up, but that's just more of a OCD thing on the... on the shelf, that's fine, so, so, uh, yeah, that's, I guess that's it, thanks for watching, guys, um, I recommend the show, uh, this, I believe, is on, well, on sale for $34.99, which I guess is only a couple dollars off, I had a, um, excuse me, I had a reward certificate, so it was about, it was about 20, with tax, it was like $27 or something like that, so, not terrible for a series, um, but I recommend it, I think you should give it a shot, so, that's it. Oh, shit. It's going to stand up now. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, this was went on far longer than I thought I was going to. I thought I was going to open this and be done, but it's, of course, I had to rabble on, so. Thanks for listening to me rabble and babble and shit. And uh, I recommend the show. Check it out. Time takes everything with the truth. That's what it says right there. Anyway. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.